Hey, what's up guys? Luke Profits. What is the best price tracking software for eBay dropshipping? You've probably heard of a bunch of different ones. Web Seller Guru, SkewGrid, PriceFox, PriceYak, DSM Tool. There are lots of different options out there, but which one is the best. As you probably already know, I run a bunch of different eBay stores and I was looking to get all of them set up with price tracking several months ago. Unlike most people, and everybody's shocked when I say this, I had not been using any price tracking on any of my accounts up until then. And the reason for that is because I figured out a way to cancel orders without any negative repercussions happening to your account. It just didn't make sense for me to pay for price tracking when I could just cancel a couple orders here and there and save money. However, several months ago, like I said, right around Black Friday, I did a bunch of listing. Prices are crazy around Black Friday, so very soon after, started having a whole lot of uh, things I needed to cancel. About half of the sales that I were getting where I was having to cancel them. At that point, my employees were spending so much time canceling orders than just in what I paid them to cancel all those orders during the month, it made way more sense for me to pay for price tracking because I saved money by having price tracking rather than having my employees cancel all the orders that I was needing to cancel. And everybody everybody thinks that, oh no, you can't cancel orders, like I've said. If you if you are thinking along those lines, watch my videos on should you fill unprofitable orders, drop shipping on eBay, and how to cancel orders without any negative repercussions to your account. I would link to them in the description, but I'll probably forget, so just search them on my channel. Now, of course, with all this stuff going on, and me being like, ah! Half of everything's getting canceled. This is not good. I can't I can't do this for a long period of time. I needed to get price tracking set up. So I started looking into all the options. A lot of people just like look for the cheapest thing and they want to sign up with that just because cheapest, but I want what is best that I can use to make more money rather than just trying to save a couple cents on software. But also if it's best and ridiculously expensive, then that doesn't work either. So it has to be you know best value. So here's what I found out about different stuff. Let's talk about SKU Grid first. Now, since I have a number of accounts and a large number of items, like I said, SKU Grid was one of the first things I looked into because I've heard the name. I didn't really know much about it, but I've heard the name. When I looked into the details on it, most people said, oh, if you're doing a large number of items, you should probably use SKU Grid. It's pretty cheap, and if you're doing a large number of items, you can have it check the price once every 24 hours and then update it. But I'd heard a lot of people were having issues with it. It was sort of not the best, and it just, I mean, it was still decently expensive and it was only checking once every 24 hours so I wasn't stoked about it. All the other options that I mentioned when I was listing them off at the beginning of this video I looked into and they were like eh, but what they were offering and how much they cost just were not it just it was it was too expensive for not enough. I finally decided to go with Web Seller Guru because I had you know heard the name around of that one a lot. It had a lot of features and it wasn't too terribly priced, but I still wasn't like that excited about it. But they check prices once every hour, which is way better than SKU Grid, and it was pretty much everything I needed. I went on their site and I reached out to their support and was trying to ask a couple more questions just before getting set up. And their support was just not that helpful. weren't really getting back to me. I had a couple questions and they said, "Oh, give me your email. I don't really know. I'll get back to you in a couple days." I think they they actually did get back to me after like a week, but it was just, they, they they really were not very helpful. Maybe the person on the support chat was just new or something. But anyway, I heard about another price tracker called Yobbly, and I would sort of thought I had heard around that maybe it wasn't super good, so that was why I didn't really like look into it at first. But then so, so, you know, I, I stumbled across it again, and I was like, well, you know, it's recommended by Arby Ship. I love Arby Ship. Arby Ship's amazing for auto ordering and stuff. So I was like, well, you know, maybe, maybe this one will be good. I should look into it and at least just see the features, just like I've looked at everything else. But when I like, looked into all the details, I was really surprised because Yabali had all of the exact same features that Webseller Guru had and more and it was cheaper. Plus, Webseller Guru checks their prices like every hour, and Yabali checks their prices more like every 30 minutes. Officially on their sales page, it says every hour, but it seems to be actually more like every 30 minutes. So anyway, I reached out to their support. I was like, yeah, this is probably too good to be true. Probably we'll still have to go with Webseller Guru, but let me just ask them a couple questions and see. So I was asking them questions, and just bam, immediately, right away, I got a person. They were helping me, super helpful. I was like, can I do this? And they're like, yep. And I'm like, can I do this? And you're like, yep. If I do this on my account, can I do this to integrate and up upload all my stuff so that I don't have to do it manually. And they're like, yep. So after chatting with them for forever and getting every single random obscure detailed question answered, they pretty much had absolutely everything I wanted or needed. And like I said, better price than Web Seller Guru was offering. And the support was just right away. I got all my eBay listings moved over and being tracked and it's been working flawlessly. Also, I was really excited to find out that they had a bunch of other cool tools because the way that I had been doing it previously, I was doing my research on my items. You can use dropsource.com uh, to get a bunch of items and then you can list them. I was using Hydralister so I could basically just put the Amazon ASIN of the item and then list and it would list it for me. But that was like 70 bucks for a couple thousand items. And when I moved over to Yabali, I noticed that they had a bulk lister and I was like, what? Okay, what's the catch here? So I, I looked at it and uh, it's free. You don't you don't have to pay for it. And I was like, okay, well it's 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 free, but it probably sucks. It's probably the worst, 
and it doesn't work well at all. Turns out, it's way better. It has way better Vero checking than Hydralist or anything like that. It works based on like blacklisted words. So essentially if it's a word that could cause you issues or has caused anyone else issues, that word gets blacklisted and then it won't list those items because it'll tell you there potentially could be Vero. You can set the strictness and everything. And I know this video is about price tracking, so I should, probably shouldn't ramble on too much about this, but it has it has a great bulk lister. So I was able to cancel Hydra Lister and not pay for that anymore because I can do the same thing better with better Vero checking for free on Yabbly. So anyway, yeah, if you want my recommendation, Everything out there is meh and sort of works. Web Seller Guru seems like it's pretty good, probably would be a decent option, but their support was kind of eh, not super helpful. Yabbly, on the other hand, has absolutely everything that Web Seller Guru has, plus more, plus they check prices about twice as often, and they're cheaper and better and that's what I recommend is Yabbly. If you're using something else at the moment, comment below and let me know what it is and why. And if you're thinking of switching or if you have decided to stick with that because of some reason. And hey, if you're new to dropshipping and you're just trying to figure some stuff out and get some info before you get started, I've got a full free dropshipping course in the description. There's a link there that you can click and it'll take you there. It goes over everything that you need to know to get started dropshipping on eBay. And it's kind of like all the information that I've learned in my couple years of dropshipping mashed down into just like about, I don't know, an hour and a half, something like that. So click down there if you want to get started. And if you're looking to sign up for Yabbly. I've also got a link down there as well. But yeah, that's it for this video and I will catch you guys in a couple days.